Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and co-host for Resurrect the Republic, Dirty Uncle Sam. I wanted to address some issues that I have found with a new video that is going around. I want to thank uh, the individuals that send me this information so that we can vet this information to find out is this actually true? Is this propaganda or is this basic fear porn that is being put out there by so-called patriots in order to place fear within the people? I am all for spreading the truth and nothing but the truth. I am human. Sometimes I also make mistakes myself and so I'm not accusing anybody of anything. However, this is an easy enough search to find out that this actual information that is coming um, from Alex Jones by Larry Nichols, the quote unquote insider who is on his way to the hospital, um, being reposted via the Mark Connors report is not accurate and I'm going to prove that to you and show that to you so that we do not have um, fear going around which is false information. Now does that mean um, that there is not an issue with this subject? No, that is not what it means. However, the specific information that is given about this executive order that allegedly Barack Obama has, has signed just a matter of days ago um, is not accurate and we cannot allow the misinformation uh, to be gotten out there. Why? Because no matter whether Barack Obama has done it or, or hasn't done it, the point is we need the truth out there. We need to not spread false information no matter who it's about. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you like or dislike Barack Obama. We have enough going on within our union to deal with than to have to deal with uh, propaganda and lies that are being spread in order to create and instill a fear within our people. Uh, is UN Agenda 21 very real? Yes, it is. Now I will show you some other things that will will consistently show as a matter of fact, that on February the 12th, Barack Obama was very busy via his presidential proclamations of uh, land theft, turning it over to um, United Nations via calling them um, World Heritage Sites and trying to make sure to keep the land out of the hands of the people. But this specific thing that I am talking about is not one of them. So I'm going to go and play a small portion of the video. Everything that I am telling you will be linked in the video box below, in the description box below. Make sure that you click on those links for the proof because that is how we dispel the lies. We click on the links for the proof. We want real proof, not just someone saying and then doing a teeny tiny Google search and not showing the actual documents themselves. So we're, we're going to go back to that. Here is the Connors Report News Channel. Uh, as you can see right now, it's in freeze frame. I will play this for you in just a moment. Alex Jones right there, and he is allegedly speaking with Larry Nichols um, uh, about uh, this new executive order that, that allegedly Barack Obama has just signed on to. And as you can see, this was recorded on 3-11-2016. So this was recorded just days ago, seven days ago, um, seven days ago now. And uh, this needs to be dispelled because the misinformation is not acceptable. And Alex Jones, with all of his contacts, as well as the ability to search the internet, anybody can get this information, um, he should have vetted this. That's just my personal opinion. So let me play this part. 
unless something um, is amiss that he's not pulling in here for you to be able to really truly see this act um, and I will show you live we will research and break this down live however I wanted to just point that out he's not making it clear where you can see it like he normally does I know they put those executive orders in place. We're showing it on screen right now. Uh, and, and did you hear that Loretta Lynch said? Okay. So he said he knows that they put those executive orders in place. He's showing it on screen right now. Are you able to see that document on screen right now? No, you're not. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to go to the government website for the executive orders. Now I'm going to scroll up to the top real quick and I'm going to show you the executive order that he claimed was this executive order was 13391. As you can see I'm typing it in here. We will search. Okay. And if you pull that up like this, you're going to see notice continuation of national emergency. So that makes everybody think, "Oh wow, you know, he's telling the truth. Okay, well, let's click on that. So, what is the title of 13391? It is the notice continuation of national emergency with respect to Zimbabwe, not in the United States of America. So, if we scroll down here, we learn. Right here. On November the 22nd, 2005, the President issued Executive Order 13391 to take additional steps with respect to the national emergency declared in Executive Order 13288, including the blocking of the property of additional persons engaged in undermining, undermining democratic processes or institutions in Zimbabwe. That's a far cry difference than what is being claimed in that video. Now, when you go to a Google search and you type in Defense of Liberty Enabling Act, let me give me one second so I can adjust this so you can see. Defense of Liberty Enabling Act, which is what um, the Larry claims uh, 13391 is, what do you get? You get the NDAA of 2012 coming up, December 23, 2011. You have uh, the Enabling Act 1933. All the different ones that are even entitled in that situation. So, we do have one 
that has a February 13th, 2016 breaking Obama signs executive order. Hold on. Let's get this working. To take over America. Okay. So let's let's see what their source is. Okay, it says something. It's got a Fox News picture, but it has no thing on it at all. And it says, yesterday, President Barack Obama signed the Patriot Defense of Liberty Enabler Act, which is his latest in a series of executive orders to bring the United States in compliance with United Nations Agenda 21. The president says that his plan will allow federal government to assume control of all federal territory in case of national emergency or civil disobedience. In addition, this act will allow the UN troops to assist US forces when needed on domestic soil. Where is the source? That's what's being said. Where is that source? So I'm going to go back and other than that specific source, it is showing nothing. Okay, so what's the deal here? Well, let's go back to the official exec where they hold all the executive orders and let's dig a little bit more because right here you can see that the 13391 is actually was um, that executive order was issued. Uh, November 22nd of 2005, which was before Barack Obama was even President of the United States Incorporated. Now, to search more, as you can see, I'm right here in the search bar, we're going to write, I'm going to write it two different ways, search it two different ways, okay? because I'm, this is how they said it, Patriot Defense of Liberty Enable, Enabler Act. Once again, this is what comes up. Two years ago, Military Family Month, uh, Patriot Day, None of these are showing any new executive order that was signed just days ago creating that problem. Now, is that pro does that problem exist? Oh, yes, it absolutely does. But to say that he signed that executive order five days ago and that it did all this, that that doesn't seem to be accurate now now does it so so to change that we'll take out the word patriot in the search and let's hit enter all right so in just the defense of liberty enabler act you have three years ago four years ago two years ago 2011 report Okay. five years ago, six years ago, all of these, nothing is sh showing anything that would even be consistent with saying um, that that Enabler Act uh, was signed. Now, another thing that I find a little uh, questionable is the man is claiming that the executive order is called the Patriot Defense of Liberty Enabler Act. An act is something that Congress does. There's not usually an executive order titled with the word act in it. So that is actually what drew a red flag to me on that situation. So as you can see, 13391 
uh, was issued November 22nd, 2005. Okay, it has to do with Zimbabwe. Now, am I not, I'm not suggesting, nor am I saying uh, that there is not things within that executive order that are questionable and this and the other, but I am saying that 13391 was not an executive order named the Patriot Defense of Liberty Enabler Act, which was signed by President Obama, quote unquote, days ago, as according to Mr. Larry Nichols. Uh, Alex Jones, as you can see, he was on video searching out, but he didn't make it clear for you to be able to see that, and that, that bothers me. And the reason that that bothers me is because a lot of people will not search for themselves and they will not look that up. Now, with that being said, I am going to show you some really concerning things that does tie together the UN Agenda 21 and, and how they're stealing land. Um, this not only ties into uh, the stuff that the people in Oregon, the Patriots, who have stood up for the Hammonds and the stuff going on in Nevada, but all across our union, to be honest with you. So instead of being so concerned with this quote-unquote 13391 Patriot Defense of Liberty Enabling Act, which is not an accurate representation of that executive order at all, let's go and see what executive orders he is um, uh, excuse me, the president, the presidential uh, proclamations. Why am I going there? You're going to find out because on February the 12th of 2016, Mr. President Obama was a very busy man. He was a very busy man helping to steal the land of the people from different states. How do they do this? They do this by declaring land national monuments which, and then turning them into World Heritage Sites, which turns them into United Nations control. So, I'm going to scroll down. I will give you links to this, by the way, where you can read the entire thing. But this is really what you should be looking at. Because under the presidential proclamations, which really, truly hold no weight of law, nothing. They're just a proclamation. In other words, he said it, so it must be God's word, right? <laughs> Not. So, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here, and let me show you just how busy he was at stealing the people's land without letting anybody know. It is very important, people. You keep an eye on not just executive orders, memorandum, and proclamations. Here you go. February 12, 2016, Presidential Proclamation Establishment of the Castle Mountains National Monument. February 12, 2016, Establishment of the Sand to Snow National Monument. February 12, 2016, Presidential Proclamation Establishment of the Mojave Trail National Monument. Three in one day. Just one of them is over 20,000 acres. This affects California, New York, and other places within our union. This you're going to love. that this land, I'm going to give you an example, because, you know, the federal government, or I should say, not even the federal government, this didn't even go through um, Congress. This is just President Obama, you know, the UN puppet that sits on the United Nations Security Council unlawfully. But... This is something in order that, that they do with each one of them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just pick one. 
So let's pull up the Castle Mountains, the first one. Okay. So I'm going to readjust so that you can see better. And I am not going to read this entire thing to you. I will leave you links and you more than uh, welcome to read it yourself. I am going to scroll down. You know, they, they want to make it sound like, oh, they're trying to save the wildlife and blah, blah, blah. And they're making it a national monument. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to scroll down to the most important wording that you need to know. All right. Whereas section 320301 of Title 54, United States Code, known as the Antiquities Act. Oh, yes, that UN thing. Authorizes the president in his discretion to declare in his discretion. Do you hear that, people? First of all, they have to abide by the Constitution of the United States of America. And yeah, I'm even talking about their corporate document, which limits them to their 10 miles square. So none of this is even lawful in the first place, but that's okay. We're not going to discuss that right now. We're going to discuss this theft of property. So the Antiquities Act, which is unconstitutional in the first place, authorizes the president in his discretion. Whose discretion? The president's discretion. His own personal preference. To declare by public pro proclamation historic landmarks and historic and prehistoric structures and other objects of historic or scientific interest that are situated upon the lands owned or controlled by the federal government to be national monuments and to reserve as a part thereof parcels of land, the limits of which shall be confined to the smallest area compatible with the proper care and management of the objects to be protected. Too bad that they never protect the land, but they just use it to steal and extort and pull out the resources. So, the president, at his own discretion, gets to decide that. Whereas, it is in the public interest to preserve and protect the historic and scientific objects in the Castle Mountains area. Whereas, the protection of the Castle Mountains area outstanding objects of historic and scientific interest would also contribute to the protection of the resources and values of the preserve. Now, it's lasted all this time, but I'm sure we can't do it without BLM. It, it's been around since before our union became a union, but now we need the federal government who does nothing but destroy, rob resources, steal natural resources, to declare it a national monument. Oh, well, of course, they want to make money off of it. So here is the kicker of this. Now, therefore, I, does it say we, the people, or anything of that effect? No, it says I, Barack Obama, President of the United States of America, by the authority vested in me by Section 320301 of Title 54, United States Code. Oh, not by the authority of the Constitution. Why can't he say that? Because it doesn't exist in the Constitution. There is no authority granted to him to do this via the Constitution. So he has to be granted the authority by the code. Hereby proclaim the objects identified above that are situated upon lands and interests in lands owned or controlled by the federal government to be the Castle Mountains National Monument. And for the purpose of protecting those objects, reserve as a part thereof 
all lands and interests in lands owned or controlled by the federal government within the boundaries described on the accompanying map, which is attached to and forms a part of this proclamation. The reserved federal lands and interest in lands encompass approximately 20,920 acres. The boundaries described on the accompanying map are confined to the smallest area compatible with the proper care and management of the objects to be protected. Wow, I thought they had to stay within that 10 mile square. All federal lands and interest in lands, oh wait a minute, and interests in lands, so if they're interested in it, they get to control it, they get to decide by one little man who sits in there, yeah. All federal lands and interest in lands within the boundaries described on the accompanying map are hereby appropriated and withdrawn from all forms of entry, location, selection, sale, or other disposition under public land laws. From location, entry, do you understand that? Entry and patent under mining laws. And from disposition under all laws relating to mineral and geothermal leasing. So by this one man, his kingly decoration, declaration is trying to nullify any past leasing, nullify rights that were established before BLM and forced land management existed and, you know, where they have no authority to. The establishment of the monument is subject to valid existing rights. If the federal government acquires any lands or interests in lands not owned or controlled by the federal government within the boundaries described on the accompanying map, such lands and interests in lands shall be reserved as part of the monument. And objects identified above that are situated upon those lands and interests in those lands shall be part of the monument upon acquisition of ownership or control by the federal government. Now, how many times have we seen the federal government try to control private property that doesn't belong to them through their unlawful BLM and the forest of land management in order to steal the property? Lavoie Fenicums was one of them. The Hammonds is another case. Those cases go on and on, my friends. So, why is this so concerning? Because while we're looking one way, they're stealing the lands and the control from the people, well, at least on paper. He can write anything he wants to, and any man, for that matter, or woman, can write anything they want to. And they can hope, and they can wish, and they can dream, but it doesn't make it so. The only way that it makes it so is if we, the people, are complicit with this theft. Now, I want to show you something. The Secretary shall manage these lands through the National Park Service pursuant to applicable authorities consistent with the purposes and provisions of this proclamation. The Secretary shall prepare a management plan to implement the purposes of this proclamation with full public involvement within three years of the date of this proclamation for the purpose of protecting the objects identified above all motorized and mechanicized vehicle use off-road will be prohibited, except, of course, for emergency or authorized administrative purposes. 
So unless you have permission from dictator in chief, according to his proclamation, or unless you have permission from the secretary or the National Park Service, because they're our master now, or at least they think they are, you won't be able to even have a vehicle on there. Not a motorcycle, not a four-wheeler, not a truck or a car. For 20,000 acres in which they paid nothing for. Of which they are stealing this land from the states. So, what are they going to do? Of course, they're going to continue to manage the federal lands and interests in lands with the adjacent area labeled Castle Mountain Mine Area. Why would that be? Oh, that's right. It's rich in gold. On, a on the accompanying map through the Bureau of Land Management. Ah, oh, yes. Upon the determination of the Secretary that either all mining and mining related activities have terminated. Now, how have they been working that? Because the miners that have pre existing rights and claims are allowed to mine that land. So, what do they do? They, When they sign contracts with the BLM and the BLM says, okay, well, we're not going to allow that anymore and they fail to re-up their contract then then the miners not all of them but some of them if you remember sugar pine mine what they try to do is without that little permit then they're not allowed to mine even though they already had pre-existing rights via the claims so once they don't get it renewed because of that because they're trying to be law-abiding citizens. A period of 10 years from the date of this proclamation has elapsed during which no commercial mining activities have occurred. Well, if those are not renewed, then they have the hope that they won't mine off of their claim, which is pre-existing to their permission from the unlawful Bureau of Land Management. So if it elapses 10 years, it says no commercial mining activities have occurred pursuant to the Bureau of Land Management approved plan of operations. The secretary shall, consistent with applicable legal authorities, transfer the jurisdiction of the lands within the Castle Mountain Mine Area to the National Park Service and ensure the lands are managed in a manner more compatible with the proper care and management of the objects identified above. People, this is what you need to be paying attention to. Once again, while we still have patriots sitting in Oregon on fictitious charges in quote unquote an alleged federal facility, They're stealing more land out from underneath each one of you. Not via Congress, no. Not via Senate, mm -mm. not even executive order. But by presidential proclamation because he thinks he is king. It is amazing to me. Even as... And, and I sincerely mean this. It is amazing to me that even the people who are corrupt allow this to go on. They're going along with allowing themselves to be kicked off their own property, to be annihilated, the resources to be stolen, and just sent away. And they sit quiet. My heart weeps. Not only for our union, but for our people. Thank you. 
God bless you. Please research, speak out, and make sure that everything, including me, because that is the only way you will know that it is the truth. And when you do vet and you find it is the truth, share it, spread it. Because truth is like a virus. And it interjects into the darkness. It brings out the lies and it unites the people. Thank you for taking time to listen to me today. God bless you and Semper Fidelis.